What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the changes coming to illustrious healing and radiant regeneration with update 35. As long as this stands uh, within the public test server, these will be receiving a nerf. Now this could change in the coming weeks, but the healing value of those skills and several others are being reduced by almost 40% for illustrious healing and radiant regeneration. So that's going to put a pretty big hit on those healing skills. And a lot of healers are kind of upset with some of these changes that Zoss is implementing with update 35. Not only that, you're looking at a lot of the abilities now will only tick every two seconds. So that's another nerf just kind of overall. And what this means is uh, that a lot of players out there that are healers are going to have to start dropping some of the sets they have that buff DPS damage and instead put on things that will buff their healing output. And this is not only a problem for healers, but it's also going to be a problem for the DPS that's in the group. So now you're going to be receiving less of those DPS bonuses, considering your healer is going to have to run stuff to buff their own healing instead of being able to run things to buff your DPS. And we all know that, of course, some games out there, whether it be RPGs, MMOs, whatever the case may be, uh, some games have, uh, you know, different types of, of builds where you can either be a buffer or a healer or kind of a... I would say almost hybrid when it comes to that, you know, kind of healing build where you can heal and you can buff. And that's what a lot of people kind of do in the Elder Scrolls Online. They can get a lot of healing from everything else in the game because the healing abilities are so good that they can run, uh, you know, at least one set on their class, something like Powerful Assault, where you can actually buff the group. I know, you know, in the past, a lot of tanks have run Powerful Assault in kind of right now's uh, game in Update 34. A lot of healers are running Powerful Assault. But that may end, and it's going to be a lot of other sets too that healers may have to drop, you know, those damage output sets in the future if this all, like I said, if this all stands with update 35 and actually goes live. When the update comes out, all these changes stay. I think a lot of the healers out there are a bit kind of worried about exactly what this is going to do to healing overall and kind of how it's going to affect everything. Because it's not only going to affect you being able to heal you know, your DPS and your tanks, but it's also going to affect how much damage your group can put out. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Do you think this is a bit too much? I, I thought it was one thing to kind of maybe nerf those, you know, healing abilities to, you know, tick only every two seconds. I kind of could somewhat see maybe the thought process from Zoss, you know, kind of with that. But nerfing illustrious healing and radiant generation by almost 40%, reducing that healing by 40% is a bit much in my opinion. Hopefully going forward, in the public test server, the PC players, you know, kind of can test some of the stuff out and see exactly how it's going to work. Zoss may see that it could be a bit much. So maybe they'll kind of dial back one or the other. But like I said, if this does stand, it looks like a lot of these sets that we're wearing right now, no matter, you know, if you're a, a healer that does straight healing or if you're a healer that likes to buff a little bit, you're going to be losing something uh, kind of all the way around. So you're going to be, it's going to be hard to put out as much healing as you did before without wearing the correct sets. And it's also going to be hard to buff the group because a lot of those group buff sets are going to be pretty much not usable considering you're going to have to have something on that will buff your overall healing if these nerfs actually happen. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're on the public test server, if you're playing on a healer. Let me know how bad it really is for you. I'm kind of curious to see exactly how all of this is going to work. I'm really interested to see when update 35 comes out here on console, you know, kind of what stays and what goes, you know, with all these patch notes lately. A lot of people have been upset with a lot of the changes. We've got a lot of different nerfs to DPS. Now we've got a lot of different nerfs to the healing in the game. So it seems like right now it's going to be a lot of big changes that may not be probably fan favorites in my opinion. Anyway, like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.